Hello and welcome to another PA Matches cast. I'm Brian Perkis and today we've got a 1v1 between Klops and Valentine Metz. Valentin Metz. Call him Valentin. Versus Klops. Klops is currently one of the top 10 ranked players. I haven't checked in a while, so I'm not sure exactly where he's at. But he is a very skilled player, and Valentin is fairly new as far as I can tell. At the very least, I haven't seen him play before, so I am very curious to see how well he stacks up against Klops. Uh, he's going for a fairly standard opening build, Bot Factory, or Factory, Metal Extractor, Factory, and then it looks like he's going to be going for Metal Extractor, Factory, Energy, Factory, Factory, Energy. Fairly uh, standard opening build with the, 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 uh, the current balance. Let's take a look at Klops. Klops is going for a slightly more aggressive route. He's got a... Got a Firefly out. It's been a long time since I've really seen people go for an, such an early air factory. He's building bumblebees. Now, this is going to be very interesting. I also haven't seen this in a long time. Going for air factory second used to be the standard, the way to go. People would build out, uh, pump out uh, air f um, fighter or p bombers, I mean, friggin' uh, would pump out bombers. So, uh, they, the, they'd be great for early harassment. Let's see. And then what else has he got going on? He's got a bunch of energy. Wow, Klops is really tanking his economy. He's uh, trying to run three factories and uh, three fabricators, including the commander. So that's putting a lot of strain on his economy. Uh, Valentin is doing a much better job of, of uh, balancing his economy. He's working on his fourth factory now and is still in the positive. So he's doing a much better job with his opening build and the early expansion. But wow, look at that. Those uh, bombers are completely shutting down the incoming docks. Uh, very, very nice route. Um... What else is going on? Now everybody, the both players are just kind of uh, working on expanding. Got some units heading out towards each other. And yeah, not not too much going on. Plus, so Klops has still got his uh, economy in the negatives, down to 62%, while Valen, uh, Valentin is still at 100% uh, um, economy efficiency, and uh, has a much larger economy to boot. Mm, here we go, a little bit of raiding. Bot, that's uh, the fabrication bot's trying to stay alive, and does so th by hiding behind the energy plant as well as the, the wall. Klops is putting up a radar. He should have had that up sooner. Let's see if Valentin has... Valentin does not have a radar. It's a huge mistake, um, or big mistake. I'm a huge, huge fan of early radar. Klops would be able to see, if he had that radar completed, that there's a, a bunch of docks incoming, and he'd be able to deal with it accordingly. That he would have... Um, and he wouldn't have lost that metal extractor. And then, um, as the game kind of continues on and bot far forces get larger and larger, like this, it becomes all the more important to uh, have um, awareness of the incoming units. Uh, wow, Valentin is doing a, a fantastic job of expanding. Took out an air fabricator. Very, very nice win. Uh, down goes a bunch of bots, and they didn't shoot once at that bomber. That was a little weird. Um, but they did take out that air fabber, which is a very nice win. Getting early fabricator kills is a big stinking deal. Uh, and still look at this. Klops got a fabricator kill and prevented Valentin from continuing to expand. And I only see one fabricator working on expanding now, and those bots are now moving forward to take out some metal extractors. This is where an area attack command would be very handy, as those bots... Oh, now, now they stop to finish off the job. Here comes a bunch more bots, 
and because Klops stopped building that radar, it degraded and disappeared, so he was not aware of those uh, incoming bots. And now they're just kind of sitting, hanging out. Oh, wow, that was quite the bombing run. Those uh, those carpet bombs can be very, very helpful. Unfortunately, he didn't fin uh, finish off that metal extractor. Valentin should have uh, should have finished it off. It's it's always a bummer when you attack but don't quite finish off a metal extractor. Klops on the um, the other side of the planet is working on raiding. He's taking out th four metal extractors at this point, and here comes some tanks. Uh, Valentin probably needs to stop being quite as aggressive. Yes, aggression is very, very important in planetary annihilation. However, Klops is countering each one of his attacks, and uh, Valentin is losing more metal than he is destroying right now. He should do a little bit more scouting, attack in larger groups, or, or, or something, because Klops is meeting each and every one of these attacks just fine thus far. So Klops is going to slowly start turning around this uh, unit count, although Valentin does, does have two more factories and a larger economy, so, so I guess he does have some... Mu Oh, excuse me, I don't know why I keep on doing this. Some he, Valentin does have some muscle to throw around. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it works out well for him. Or how well it works out for him. Uh, every, but, uh, everyone's still kind of bouncing around on the, their economy. Nice job from Valentin. He's got units um, on either side of Klops' base, which means Klops has to split up his army to defend, and it's just a lot harder to defend against uh, multiple attacks like that. Although, Klops, he is one of the, the top-ranked players, and he's doing a pretty good job of defending so far. Uh, so, ooh, you know what? I just realized something that I haven't seen in a while is is much of proxy bases. Uh, Valentin's attacks would be much more effective if he were to take his fabricators and instead of building a line of factories right here, build them, say, right here. The attacks are much faster, and then there's less units that are just kind of strung along, so the travel time is a lot less, so uh, the attacks are just a lot more effective. Um, especially since Klops still doesn't have a radar? Does he have a radar? Or... No, he does. I'm just not seeing it somewhere. Oh, well. Moot point. Here comes a, a decent-sized bot force moving on in. We'll be able to deal with those bots just fine, but these tanks are going to cause a problem for it. Whenever, whenever you see, whenever you're attacking with bots and you see tanks, it's best to just fall back and go around. Bots outrun tanks very effectively. Ooh, fabricator kills, very nice. Ooh, wow, some aggressive, uh, aggressive commander action. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, it looks like the commander's having a hard time hitting. Yeah, he was having a hard time hitting those, those ants. Not ants, whatever they're called. Bolos, as they're called these days. I don't know. Personally, I'm not really a fan of bolo. Bolo is a thing you put around your neck when you're a cowboy. It's not a tank. Hmm. So, that's, that's forward commander. I don't know. This is very aggressive, and this is a bunch of tanks... Uh, Valentin could potentially finish off the commander here and now. You don't want to overextend yourself as the commander. If uh, if Klops uses his uber cannon effectively like he is doing, then... Ah, oh, but these tanks, they're not going straight at the commander. That is unfortunate. If they had gone straight in and attacked the commander, that it was a bunch of tanks, and they might have been able to finish off the commander here and now. Unless... Klops Micros his commander and pumps out a bunch of walls really quick like that. But it would have been very close. Even even then, uh, Klops' commander's dipping down to 40% health. Valentin might have been able to finish off the commander right there. That was that was very close. Klops very much uh, overextended himself there. 
And now Valentin is working on trying to swing around, but that's just uh, too many tanks. Uh, Valentin needs to pull back these tanks, because otherwise he's just going to throw them away. Not sure why he's building that many walls. Klops really needs to uh, pull back his commander. Commander's down to 38%, and it's very risky to have your commander this far afield. Especially with, with uh, bots. If, if uh, Valentin had a lot more bots, like if he took all of these bots right here, and then these vehicles, and then circled around and attacked, uh, it, it provided that Klops gets... Uh, he might be able to just finish off the commander with that. Klops, the only way Klops would survive, survive is if he got in some very um, good uber cannons. And all of these bots are sitting over here idle. It looks like that's what uh, Valentin is trying to do. Uh, circle around and, and, and get that commander. But unfortunately, he doesn't have his entire bot army. And now... Um, Klops' vehicle army is moving in and hitting all of these vehicle factories. If Klops can take out the majority of these vehicle factories, then that's going to really hurt Valentin, as that's going to be most of his uh, production power. So... No, oh, missed that. Yeah, Klops is down to 15%. If, if uh, Valentin had taken all of these bots and had gone straight for the commander with that, this game would have been over by now. Valentin, I am very impressed. You are doing well, but unfortunately this uh, this attack force is going to be a bit of a problem for you. Uh, a a a uh, Valentin is bringing his Aeson commander forward, and with some good uber cannons, he can deal with this attack. But it, it is going to be a little risky. He's, uh, he's, he's hurt. He's taken some losses, but doing all right he's doing okay and it looks like Klops's commanders has successfully made it back to his base at 14 percent health while the Klops is getting in some nice wins as the commander was just kind of sitting there uh, taking down two metal extractors a bunch of units and a bot factory pretty nice win well and and, and this vehicle factory and wounded these Oh, this is why I hate walls. These units were sitting there shooting at walls when they could have been shooting at units. Uber, please fix. That's just... Walls should never be targeted by units. N unless explicitly told to. Because that's that was just dumb. Most unfortunate for Valentin. Even though they wouldn't have done much damage, they would have done some. And every little bit counts now as as uh, Valentin's is falling behind in the total unit count and Klops is climbing ahead in the unit count and factory account and economy. One of the b b things that um, differ differentiates um, medium skill players, whatever you want to call them, and top tier players is late game. Most players... Um, stop expanding. And see, look at this. Valentin is not expanding anymore. And if we look at Klops, Klops is continuing to expand. Never stop expanding. And I really, really mean that. Uh, Valentin is hur uh, hurting an economy, and he's continuing to build more factories when he really needs to be building fabricators, which he only has three... And I don't see him. And he really needs to be... Uh, he needs to be expanding his economy. Because that's what's going to kill him. Look at that. He's way negative. 33% efficiency. And he's continuing to build more factories. Rather than build more metal extractors. And that is going to be his downfall. Which is a huge bummer. Since, what was that, two or three times he almost killed Klops. He could have killed Klops. That was that was uh, very close. It is encouraging to see Klops using air, though. I do not see air used much, and uh, I, I'm a big fan of aircraft in all RTS games, and and it's just not used much these days. Still debate on what why it's not being used, but look at that. Those bombers are really doing damage to that attacking army. 
like three spinners mixed into that would have made a, a pretty big difference in the effectiveness of that group. They would have made it much further, and they would have been able to actually destroy anything, because that group didn't destroy a single thing. Klops's commander is still sitting at 14%, uh, not, not bothering repairing it. And things aren't looking good for for uh, Valentin. His economy is continuing to deplete as uh, Klops is raiding on all sides of the planet. Again, that is another trait of top-tier players. And armies are closing in on all side. uh, sides. And I don't think... Yeah, Valentin also doesn't have a radar. Gotta have that radar. This bit, uh, main line of factories is about to get taken out as uh, Klops's vehicles sit idle. They sit idle right next to these factories. Oh, there's the self-destruct. Valentin admits defeat. Man, I was rooting for you there, Valentin. I always, I'm, I'm a fan of the underdog. I like it when new players take out top tier players. Sorry, Klops, but upsets like that are always fun. You gotta admit. Uh, well played by both players. Um, that was a community submitted match by Valentin. Thank you very much for submitting that. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all did. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time.